never going to be taller than Jane. When we're not forking around, we want you to join us in a number of things coming up. Uh, the first thing is we've got um, our cooking with Chibo on the 25th of January, which is really fun. Yeah, we cook with you live in our, from our kitchen to your kitchen and back and forth. Also coming up on March 7th is our Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease and Cancer for Women Conference here in Cleveland, Ohio. And we want you there. Come, it's terrific. And then if you want to run around with us and just have fun while eating plant-based food because you're a plant-based woman warrior, join us at June to, at camp, at, at Well Now Camp, June 4th and, to 7th. And you'll do things to sort of just like this. Like this. All right. But even more fun. Hey, see you soon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And we are going to redo our guidelines. Nothing has changed at all. It's just, I've changed. No. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I, I was not very happy about the first guidelines. I didn't understand what we were doing. No, <laughs> you, she understood exactly what we were talking about, but she, oh, yeah. it was our very first time doing a, a, a shoot for YouTube. And she's used to having a classroom full of sixth grade students or an audience of people who are interested in hearing about plant-based eating. So she's like kind of grumpy in the corner, like, there's no one here. All right. What are we talking about? So now she's totally here we go. game. Here we go. So these are plant perfect guidelines. This is squarely for people who have heart disease. So this, if you want to follow along. Or anybody. Not anybody who's interested in, in preventing and reversing heart disease. Um, actually, it's, it's great at uh, preventing and reversing type 2 diabetes and obesity and uh, on and on. So page 12, 13 is where it starts here in our book, the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook, if you want to follow along. The guidelines are there. Our guidelines. This is not plant strong. This is plant perfect. Plant strong um, varies a little bit. So if you want to follow along, here we go. First guideline. You go. Oh, no meat, no fowl, no pork, no beef, no chicken, no chicken, no mussels, no white made of chicken, no shrimp, no bivalves, nothing with a mother, nothing with a face or nothing that poops. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> no dairy. No dairy. And that means no milk, no yogurt, no ice cream, no cheese, no butter. And cheese is often the hardest, but it is such an important thing to get out of your diet. Yeah, so dairy is it is not lots of the like creepy forms it comes in, not creepy, but like it creeps in on many different forms uh, in different products and stuff. So and along with no with dairy, dairy, there is one helpful thing. If you really are committed to no dairy, then it's gonna make it much easier to say no to the cakes and the cookies and the pies that people offer. And there are ways to make cookies and cakes without dairy. Oh, and that so dairy oddly has the uh, eggs fit into the dairy category and eggs fit into the meat category. But eggs are out. Eggs are out. So, yeah, no eggs. No eggs. Next is no, no oil. No oil. That sounds hard, but truly, it's the easiest of them all. You go home, or you are home, and you get rid of your oil. I think it's actually the hardest for people. Dang. It's the easiest, because you have no oil, and it's, any liquid will work. At home, it's easy. But when you're going out, going to friends' houses, oil is just sort of, it's, it's used. It's, 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 it's like sunscreen all over all the fruit and vegetables in the pan when they're cooking even a pasta sauce, or even pasta, or... Even like the rice at Chipotle, I'm so upset they put a cup of rice per bin, a cup of oil per bin of rice. It keeps into it, it from clumpy. Sometimes I've even discovered when I've gone to get raisins in bulk that they oh. will put oil in the raisins so they don't clump. So, and oil is like you know, when you have a little your dry skin, you need, you need lotion, and you're at the bottom of your lotion bottle, and you're bang, bang, bang trying to get it out. That little bit of lotion you get out, it actually can go a long way. Well, same with the oil all over inside. So a, a little bit of oil, get rid of all the oil. Okay, next we, we want to make sure people get in the plant perfect, um, plant based eating is oats. And For oats, find a way to eat oats. And I wanted to just show these two different examples of that. We find these are the best kind steel well, cut oats. Wait a minute. 
just one minute. The first oat is the whole oat, the oat groat, which takes a long time to cook, and it, it, people like it. If you've got it, it's, it's, it's amazing. Second in line are the steel cut oats. That's the oat groat that's been chopped by a steel blade about two or three times. These are my favorite because they keep the oat, whatever you're cooking, a little crunchy. But then the oats, the old-fashioned oats, are the ones that most people consider using in their oatmeal. It's, it's this that's been Those and rolled. are the three oats, the oat groats, the steel cut, the old-fashioned use. Anything underneath that, like the uh, quick, uh, quick, cook, quick cook cooking oats, have, go to sugar quickly. So stick to everything up above the quick cooking. And there are four reasons why it's wonderful to eat oats. One, they are totally help reduce your cholesterol. Two, they help reduce inflammation. Three, they're dose responsive. The more you eat, the more effective. And four, what is four? <laughs> oh, they help keep your blood sugar nice and steady. Yeah. So, you know, and the other thing I think is so important is when you're eating food, try and think of the food that's going to be the most powerful to make a difference. And you're in control of breakfast almost always, so you can get to the oats. And get in greens every day if you can. That's, uh, that's, that's another one of our... The, so we, we actually have a video about how to get at least six... How to get greens in six times a day. Let me go back. We have no meat, et cetera, no dairy, no oil, oats for breakfast. Or whenever in the day. And now we want to talk about the power of greens and all of the vegetables, actually. Not just greens. I know, but, but, but all but, of the many colors. Leafy vegetables. greens are, yeah. Leaf, leaf, just greens, greens, greens um, in your day as often as you can. I mean, I think most people just sort of don't think about putting greens in their Speaking of greens, diet. here's, we have dedicated our book to greens, to, and this is my, a, my we, have a, we have a t-shirt that, um, that says this. This is now. my husband's little, um, what do you call that? Little saying, little. And people t try to call it a wrap, but he's by no means wrapping it when he says it. <laughs> um, bok choy, Swiss chard, kale, collards, collard greens, beet greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, napa cabbage, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cilantro, parsley, spinach, arugula, and asparagus. And, and there's actually oh. some of the most powerful of those. I mean, and they're all good. And everybody, everything has a different piece to add. So mix them up. Don't just focus on spinach because you're not going to get all you want, all you need. So do the whole range. But the, the most powerful ones are arugula and uh, uh, bok choy. I mean, not bok choy, um, beets and beet and greens, greens, kale, um, spinach. What did I get? What did I miss? Anyway, greens. Greens and all veggies. Um, other thing, the next thing is beans, lentils, or as categorically they're known as pulses. Not like pulses, but, but um, that sort of legumes. And we try to get these into, uh, hummus obviously is a very uh, accessible form of bean. Um, and there's, you can add, you know, a black bean hummus or white bean hummus or cannellini bean hummus. All kinds of hummuses are out there. Uh, hummus is made of chickpeas. And um, for, in soups, it's so great to have, you know, have, make a 20 bean soup if you can find 20 beans to put in. I, I probably couldn't name 20 beans. Um, and you know, and the other thing is, or, put uh, if you're having a salad, put beans in your salad, especially if you want just one meal, one dish in summer. Yeah. Fill it with beans. And last, the other night, we were having a meager dinner, I thought, and I, but we had a nice salad. And I put kidney beans in our salad. And I tell you, my husband and I both just couldn't, we couldn't get enough of that salad with those big kidney beans in it. So bean things, up, bean your life up. I and lentils, too. I mean, Lentils are great. Red lentils dissolve quickly. The black and the green will keep their shape better for salads and things. So um, fill your life everywhere you can put it with beans or lentils. I had company to make a comment about them. I can't remember what I was going to say. But on to the next. Onward. So whole grains, whole grains, whole grains. Um, that means you know, uh, quinoa, barley, uh, whole wheat, wheat berries, um, 
brown rice. If you're going to eat a grain, make sure it says brown in front of it or whole in front of it because then it's got its whole whole good self that Mother Nature packaged that way. If it says semolina wheat, it's white flour. If that whole Organic is not semolina. front of wheat, it is white flour. So you want to get that nice whole grain in. So make sure you read ingredients on those things. Okay. Um, avoid salt and sugar as much as you can. We do say to use minimal salt, minimal sweet. That's our guideline. I know it sounds vague, but we truly do mean it. Um, like in some of our um, salad dressings or some of our sauces, we use a little bit of maple syrup to cut the acid or to um, actually but you don't to have help to us put to eat it more in. salad. If you don't want to, you don't have to put it in those things. If you ever want to have some kind of a dessert, often you need to have some sweetener. And whether your sweetener is brown sugar, dates, maple syrup, anything. It kind of all acts in the same way. So go as yeah. minimally as you can in that. We chose maple syrup. For a couple of reasons. Um, you want to avoid the fructose in uh, fruit. No. It, it, and, it's, it, it's the lowest one in fructose of all the sweeteners. Right. And it's got more to it than just, just, the, just sugar. It's got some fluid in there. It's got some minerals in there. And it's ghastly expensive, which is a good governor. Um, and salt, please, I hope you have a, a, a spice rack as, as busy as ours. We've got bins and we overflow because we're, all these spices, all these ways to season our food and flavor our food beyond having it be greasy and salty. Our American palates are so used to like a greased and salted tone or texture to our and, food. And believe me, your tastes change. Oh, yeah. I, I cannot go out and buy a soup or, you know, in, in like at a place where they sell it, a vegan soup. It doesn't taste good to me. It's too salty. Okay. So my taste has really changed. But before you want to add salt to something, try three things. Try adding lime or lemon. Try adding any kind of hot sauces. Um, I mean, just a little hot sauce. It doesn't have to make it hot. It just will sort of give it some uh, energy. And also... Or other spices and flavors. Any, any kind of spice. Vinegar. Vinegar is the other thing More that acid. really make a difference for me to up some, the taste of something. Your tongue is ADD. It just wants to be distracted. It wants to, have, it wants to be, have some stimulus. And it's so used to the sugar, salt, fat, um, and... Right, sugar, salt, fast, and, a and acid. So give it some spices. Give it some of these acids she talked about. Just give it some attention, and it'll be happy. Our next guideline is to steer, for heart disease patients, clearly, to steer clear of nuts, avocado, and coconut. There's and just so much saturated fat in those foods. The, if you don't have heart disease, a, uh, a little handful, a fourth cup, of nuts is fine, or and an especially avocado, or avocado. especially uh, walnuts. But if you have heart disease, it's just better to to avoid it because you would just get into hot water. However, I wanted to show you something that I think is is amazing, Draw. and that is coconut. Coconut oh, is um, coconut is ninety percent saturated fat. This happens to be fourteen grams of fat in this, in one fourth cup, and 13 of those are saturated fat. I wanted to show you what an uh, inside one of these looks like. I was simply stunned when I opened it. We may need to get a, a knife. It's coconut milk. This is coconut milk, and this is simply straight saturated, saturated fat. fat. And it's and then you might saturated. In the bottom, there is a little bit of liquid. But look at this. To try and get it out, I mean, it's, it's it, 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 this shocks me. And in all of the, today, you can't buy a vegan ice cream that doesn't have coconut cream in it. This is coconut cream. Use it as an oil, a lotion. Yeah. It's a lovely lotion. 
Lovely lotion. Oh, but actually feels if great. you love but not coconut, on the inside. if you love coconut, buy coconut extract and one teaspoon plus a, a cup of alternative milk of your choice, and you have coconut milk God, without all yeah. of this coconut. I don't know. Saturated fat. Ick. It's just going to rest in those arteries. Ugh. So, uh, and then as far as seeds, a few seeds are fine, and we hope that everybody, every day, has at least a tablespoon or two of either chia seed uh, or flaxseed meal. Flax seeds need to be ground, or else they go right through you. And they're great. They're great with uh, against inflammation. And you know, some sesame seeds, some pumpkin seeds sprinkled on things, are fine. Um, okay. But don't eat handfuls. Don't eat. Uh, cupfuls. And speaking of eating, I'm going to talk about drinking. Please drink water. You're going to save yourself thousands and thousands of cal calories and thousands and thousands of dollars by just only drinking water. Um, and the, the key it, thing is, chew your food. Don't. Chew your food. Don't drink your calories. Chew, don't drink your calories. Chew it. Okay. And that being said. Um, look at the ingredients in any product you're purchasing. I knew I was going to say, back in the beans comment, I, I had a certain brand of, of kidney bean I would always buy when we were going to make chili, for example. And I decided to buy a big can of it because we had to buy like 40 ounces of kidney beans or something. And I went to the big can and it had not just kidney beans, but it had high fructose corn syrup, sugar, salt, and a couple other things. And I was just thought, oh. How long have I not been reading the ingredients on this bean can? It just says kidney beans, but it had all these added things. That are just, it's just unnecessary roughness. I oh, don't need that. One other thing about beans. If you are buying beans in a can, buy the ca beans without sodium. And you can find them. And if, but best of all is make your own beans. And it, it sounds scary and hard. It's really kind of fun, and it doesn't. T it's not. It's not hard. It's just putting them in a pot, putting water in the pot, and cooking them. We have a video of that coming up soon. Um, and the next thing, the last thing we want to talk about, and this is sort of an addition to uh, this guidelines video, and we didn't talk about it last time, is vitamin supplements. We don't take um, any like nutritional-based supplements or vitamins. We do take two things that are sort of more environmental. B12 is something that was found, you know, rolling through in, in streams and, and in the soil. And since we don't drink out of our streams anymore and we don't go from our, the soil to our mouths, we actually have very clean food, which is actually probably a wonderful thing for us as a culture. Um, but we're not getting it um, the way that we sort of, where Mother Nature probably designed us to get it. So we take supplements. And did you bring it? You example. I mean, we have, I've got, here. Here, B12, we just, we kind of get, um, I don't even know what this, country life? Or, and I'm not, we're not supporting any type of Well, I, I'm telling you, I love the country life menthol B12s because I love the way they taste. Which, which flavor? It's Your the, vanilla it, flavor? No, 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 it just is country life menthol B12. Well, menthol, anyway, that is the one that has a good flavor. But, um, but, I, is it, but doesn't mean any B12. And B12 is, people go back and forth, and they think, yes, make sure you have it in your life. And if you're under the age of 60, um, at least 250 uh, micrograms, um, about a little more, between 60 and 70, at least 500 micrograms. And if you're over the age of 70, 1,000 micrograms. That's what um, I asked my father what he thought and what he recommended, and we, we just ran a, a, just a survey. And things always change, so that's what we're saying now, and this is, this is, you know, 2019, so it might change greatly, and we are open to that, but that's what we're sticking with right now. Um, and vitamin D, we all know that comes from the sun. It actually is found also in, mu in mushrooms, which don't live in the sun, which is weird. So you should eat some mushrooms every day, <laughs> every day. like in my breakfast cereal. <laughs> yeah, um, and so uh, vitamin D, uh, we right now, again, level... Labs are different, levels change and vary, but we basically want you to be at least to the normal level, even the low side of the normal level. And that might mean um, getting to like 1,000 to 2,000 units. Um, Micrograms. Uh, several times a week. I know I don't really remember to, 
in the summer, I never do it. But I don't really remember to take it except for a couple times a week on a good week. So that's all of our guidelines for now. And thank you for letting us redo it. I don't do think it. I ever take it. But take what? Vitamin D. <laughs> good thing she's standing right here. Bones are intact still. All right. Thanks for listening to our guidelines. And remember... Read ingredients. That is going to change your life. Yes. Change your life. Read ingredients. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.